let's move on here. Time now to go on the road as we do each and every Friday morning in the summertime, Will. That's right. Now we have reached the first weekend of August and a lot of us are looking to take advantage of the weekends ahead and enjoy some extra time in the great outdoors. Absolutely. And speaking of the aforementioned great outdoors, did you know there is a glamping site right here in Little Roadie? That's right. Uh, it's like camping, just just much, much nicer. Michaela Johnson is there live right now, so we're going to check in <laughs> with her to see what's going on. Good morning, Michaela. Hey, good morning, guys. I'll tell you what, I am here at Glamp Frogmore for the great outdoors done right. If you want the full experience of camping, but you don't want to be sleeping on the ground, well, we've got you covered. Justin is one of the owners. Thanks for having us yeah, here this thanks morning. Thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. Tell us a little bit about Glamp Frogmore. Yeah, so um, this is uh, this is our property. This is where we live. And, um, you know, during the pandemic, I'm a teacher, so I was on a computer all day. And we just um, kind of decided to start kind of playing with the woods a little bit and carving out some some space. And then we quickly realized that people really want to glamp. And there's mm -hmm. very little of that in Rhode Island and southern New England in general. So we ended up listing it and uh, it's been really popular. And so now we have two sites. Uh, we are on one site right now. It's called the Pines. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it, what it offers. Yeah, so the Pines sleeps like four to six uh, people or so. So it's good for a family or um you know friends kind of getting together that kind of thing but it's um big huge 14 by 16 tent with a king bed and a futon and then there's another smaller uh tent which is essentially just for um you know uh, you can pop the kids in there on a, on camp cots or whatever yeah um and uh you know full outhouse there's no running water or anything no okay. electricity but it's like it's um about the tidiest easiest camping experience it's like it's hardly camping but you certainly get the the benefits of of camping you can build a fire mm -hmm. you can cook over the fire all that good stuff but it's um you know it's hardly it's hardly camping to be honest you bring up a great point but yeah. we are in the middle of the woods here in oh, coventry yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful location you feel uh very disconnected from the outside mm -hmm. world in a great way yeah. uh, you can still make a phone call though if you need to so don't worry <laughs> about that but i love what you were saying it's it's just just enough perks yep. here and there we're going to take you in the tent in just a moment but like you said like you have an outhouse yeah. you have a fire you don't have to bring a tent with you because you guys already have right. that covered and, exactly. and you don't need a sleeping bag either yeah that's true yeah. yep it's um it's it's pretty easy and mm -hmm. a lot of times real true campers will show up with their you know, their car full of stuff and they realize they don't really need to bring yeah. it with them. So it's nice. Well, that's really nice. Okay, yeah. so let's take you inside. And, and as we do that, uh, can you tell us about some of the the things that you've you've really placed in here? I mean, look at this. I, I grabbed a book out here. I was sitting on a, one of the chairs. And let's let Eric go in behind. In fact, you know what? Go, go with them, guys. If you're watching at home, you're going to go inside as well. So what do we have in here? Um, well, it's, uh, you know, like I said, king bed, lots of space, futon. There's a... Um, a uh, wood stove here for the the cooler nights or the mm -hmm. the colder months um, we had people staying through thanksgiving last year which was fun you bring up a great point a lot of people like to camp in the summertime you're yeah. open even when it gets colder out as well yeah we um we didn't take the uh the tents down last year until kind of right before christmas and and frankly i i think the fall is the best time to be here yeah you know? it, it really is nice you saw the fire roaring outside we're going to tell you about some of the other things you can do in and around this area and even take you to the the second location yeah. as well what's that one Called. That's called the Ferns. Okay. So that's our newer site. It's a little smaller, but I'm pretty fond of it. So we'll check it out. Gotta love that. So whether you are going camping by yourself with your spouse or a loved one with the whole family, they can certainly accommodate you. Like we said, we'll tell you about the fun right just steps away in just a little bit. All right, everybody, time for us to go back out on the road once again, where the summer fun continues as we kick off the first weekend of August. Now, as we saw earlier, Michaela is visiting a local glamping site. Uh, we're going to check in with her once again to see how it's going out there. Good morning, Michaela. Hey, good morning once again. Well, that's right. We are here at Glamp Frogmore, and it is a great space to, like we said, enjoy the amenities of the tent, but also get the full camping experience. So cheers, cheers to you, Justin. We're enjoying some great coffee that they've provided for us and even some some s'mores, which we'll get to in just a moment. But what can there be can be done right here, even just steps away? Yeah, so um, our biggest neighbor um, in that direction is the Max Mays Autobahn Wildlife Refuge. And so there's four or five miles of trails, um, a beautiful pond, all sorts of stuff to do. Um, but even here on our property, we have a pond with a canoe and a rowboat and um, and some kind of shorter trails and mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But it's um, it's like incredible bird watching for people that want to do that. It's, it's good hiking and there's lots of other um, trails and ponds and fishing spots just kind of in the area 
uh, here in Coventry and West Greenwich and and, um, and that kind of thing. So, yeah. um, but also, you know, for people that are coming from out of state, we're 30 minutes from the beach and mm -hmm. 35 minutes from Providence. And so exactly. it's it's been good. It's a good location to be. Really accessible to just about everything we mentioned. We're enjoying some great coffee. I'll take a sip on that. And actually our intern Kayla is having such a moment. She got very excited. She's roasting a little marshmallow here today. You know, there's plenty that you can enjoy, including maybe, um, a cocktail, Jonathan Pogash, what? the cocktail guru. Oh my God! You are our first like reoccurring guest who's joined us out on a live shot, and, and boy did he deliver. I mean, I've made cocktails in some remote locations, <laughs> but this kind of tops the bill here. Well, if we want to make a great cocktail and enjoy it by the fire, why not enjoy something called a bug bite? Well, how do we make it? Yeah, let's do it. So I have my thermos with some ice in here, and I'm adding some uh, rye whiskey. Uh, this is called J.P. Weiser's rye whiskey. You can use any uh, base ingredient, rum, vodka, gin, or you can make it a mocktail, you know, for the kids. Yeah. Just remove the alcohol. I have this Marie Broussard uh, watermelon liqueur. This will add some really nice fresh watermelon flavor, mm -hmm. a little touch of uh, sweet and sour. And guys, okay, hold on a second here. I've got- I some, love the cooler, by the like way. It. Cool. Uh, I have some uh, watermelon juice, which I'm wow. adding. Let me just take a look. And, okay, good. I'm just eyeballing things here, guys, because when you're glamping, you're just kind of using what you have. You can fill up a cooler with some. This is aloe juice. Because that's good on bug bites, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Aloe, the taste of the watermelon around this time of year, it's and, all fitting. And this is some lemonade. I believe they can uh, provide lemonade for you here at mm -hmm. uh, Glamp Frogmore. So I'm going to add a little bit of lemonade, just like that. Perfect. And we're going to give it a, we're going to close it up. Yep. And you ready? I love, this is like the, the camping go. cocktail we've all been waiting for. That's a different type of shake. I know, you can't hear it less... because it's insulated. So it's a silent <laughs> shake. I love that. Uh, and then we'll just, open that up and I'm going to pour it out into our, okay, you ready? There you yes. go. Oh, oh, thank you. And there you go. Yeah, it's very, very fancy. And we'll just pour it out into our cups. What are we going to garnish oh, this yeah. with? Because gonna... I know you love a good garnish I, and it I just sure takes things up. And if we're glamping, we got to make sure our cocktails look just Absolutely. as great. So I've got some herbs that I brought from home. I'm just going to put a, a fresh mint sprig in here, just like that. And a couple of gummy worms. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Delicious. Just don't use the real worms that you might find in the ground. No, unless you want some extra protein. Well, this smells delicious. Hey, Justin, we're, we're here we got one for mm -hmm. you too. Kayla's gonna put the final touches mm -hmm. on her s'more. She's been enjoying them. Uh, cheers, guys. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Glamp Frogmore. We got plenty more coming up. We're gonna show you their second site as well. And it is time now to go back out on the road one last time this morning in our buzz today. We discussed camping mm -hmm. and if you were paying close attention because you just love the outdoor activities as everyone was. Well everybody does, yeah. What happened to your jacket? Yeah. <laughs> Lost Michaela, it in the rush. Michaela's at a place right now that you might enjoy. Will you want to take it from here, buddy? I'll give it a shot. Yeah, she's live at a uh, at Camp Frogmore, a very Instagrammable glamping site located right here in Coventry. Looks like a great place to spend some time as we swing around again with Michaela. Even you can do this, Will. I know you said you might not be in for the full-on camping experience. That's why you come here to Glam Frogmore because they provide all the perks and amenities to make your stay much more comfortable. Justin, where are we now? So this is the Ferns. This is our uh, our smaller site. So this is like a you know 15-foot bell tent. It's a good place for a um, for a couple or a small family or something like that. Yeah. So this is the Ferns. It's beautiful, and Thank we're actually going to make our way out, too, because we want to take a look at more of the property. But like you said, I mean, you don't have to be sleeping on the ground if that's not for you. But we talked about the local activities and things in the area that you can do so you can still get that full-blown yeah. camping experience. And then take advantage of the grounds, and you have such a beautiful setup here. Thank you. Yeah, there's so we have a fire pit, another outhouse, a spot to eat and and cook, and um, a hammock in the, in the ferns here. Lots of... Um, Lots of space to kind of spread out and, and it's all yours. It's like acres that you Perfect. just kind of have to yourself. The ferns, the pines, we've seen them both and we can go on your website to make a reservation. Can we pick which site we'd like? Yeah, um, uh, we list on um, Hip Camp mm -hmm. and Tenter and Airbnb and you just Perfect. kind of 
check them out and see what else is in the area and just like booking a, a Verbo or an Airbnb kind of thing. Awesome. Yeah. It really is such a unique space. And like we said, like there's no running water, but you will have an outhouse. You will have a nice bed. You can zip up that tent so the bugs won't bother you at nighttime. You really have gone above and beyond oh, here. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Oh, thanks. Thanks for coming. Yeah. And I want to show you some of the things that you can maybe pack up in your bag. You know, we have a lot of great uh, places in our area like LL Bean and Garden City, and they have a lot of really cool things. So if you're coming here or if you're going to hit up any of the local trails in your area, you can throw everything in a bag just like this because it's got compartments for just about everything, your water, your clothes, your your boots, if you will. These are great. I mean, that's that classic LL Bean style that you know and love. And if things are maybe a, a little damp, a little squishy, if you come here on a wet day, you can throw those on. Or if you're looking to hit the trails, these are so lightweight. I, you got to see these in person for yourself. I was kind of shocked when I picked them up. But it's nights, and you can go for a nice long hike with the family or for the dog, which we'll get to in just a moment. Um, ladies out there, they have some beautiful attire for you. Plus, these items come with the technology to keep the bugs away. I know you see a lot of, like, uh, sun resistant and things with UV protection. That's great. But then they kind of double down and protect you from the bugs just as much. You have pants that you can unzip, and they become shorts. Isn't that great? Wish Michael Scott knew about that before he tried that out. And then over here, we got here. Here you laughing over there. He gets the office reference. And then here's some great items for the guys too, uh, men's and women's. And I obviously have a lot of waterproof stuff. So if you're looking to hit the elements and really rough it, you can do that. Lots of great sweatshirts. Again, those pants that can become shorts because we know how quickly things turn here in New England. And then for the pups, if they're coming with you on a trail or they got to go out and use the bathroom at night, these collars light up. And this water bottle also comes with a detachable, if I can get it, and hold a microphone at the same time. I promise you it's easy. A detachable water dish. There it is. And clicks right back on. So there you go. There you have it. Pack up. Make a reservation over at Glamp Frogmore. And uh, all this could be yours. Guys, back to you.